We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel to all subscribers welcome back i'll ask for returns for to smash that like button tell me know you watch this video helps out the youtube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort i put into making these videos so in this video we are going to discuss what is making the stock market pull back and what can make it go even further to the downside now could it create a correction could it create a crash well we just saw a correction happen of about 5% recently and look how fast things went back up. So if you're worried about corrections and crashes, you are not understanding that those are where opportunities are formed. Not up here, down here, okay? We're going to break it all down in this video and I'm going to share with you guys the data that might make this pull down. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunities I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. Check out the link down below in the description to the discord and by joining you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together if you want to get on early with us every single morning guys and we're going to jump right into it here with the s p 500 index and the data so the home runs of the day were spectacular and beyond expectations and if you want to get on early with us every single morning we strive for opportunities like these check out the link down below in the description to the discord and by joining you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so these are the stocks i mentioned this morning two of the three turned out to be home runs and we're going to go ahead and look at these charts together so ensc we caught this one as it was pulling downwards towards the bell and in that first run it gave nearly five to ten percent pulled back we got that bear indicator went into weakness consolidated confirmation with 42 vision 2.0 of strength 42 vision transitioning into strength and ultimate 42 vision the upgrade coming soon showing that bull indicator of confirmation for a highest point of 30 percent plus guys and then we caught here i i and n we caught this one in the pre-market when it was consolidating here and it took off for another highest point of 25 percent plus 42 vision 2.0 confirming strength 42 vision and under a bull indicator until the next bear indicator popped up after the bell and even after that pullback it found a bottom and it took off for another 20 percent plus opportunity so if you guys want to get on early with us and know about these opportunities before they take off check out the link down below in the description to the discord we look forward to having you join us let's jump into these charts so when i make these videos some of them are exciting some of them are not and this is one of those that i wish i would have talked about it sooner but people wouldn't listen a lot of people would actually write very negative comments down below but we're going to talk about the facts straight to the point and what's going on based off the charts right so i'm going to pull up here ultimate 42 vision 42 vision and 42 vision 2.0 we're looking at it based off the 30 minute and if you want to receive this type of clarity you can gain access to it as well the 42 vision indicator link is down below in the description and by joining the 42 vision tier level you will gain access to the weekly watch list daily watch list of home run opportunities that we look for and strive for every day as well as a community of investors all looking to learn and grow together and the premium indicators to maximize on opportunities through the volatility of the market so i want you guys to look at a pattern here that you could see in the whole entire downward trend let's put the one hour so it could look actually a little bit more clear okay you could see how short-lived these bull indicators were and how short-lived these bear indicators were but every time it went up it went down through the volatility but it started way up here right because if i put the four hour you can actually see clearly that that was the one indicator you needed to know of a bear indicator way up here and also follow 42 vision 2.0 to see things pulling downwards right we're still seeing some strength here but we're going to break it down in just a moment but just to show you guys how clear that was right but through the volatility it jumps up and down i need you guys to understand something if you have not gotten into trading you're just buying stocks and holding long term or you're swing trading and hoping for a stock to jump up really quickly in the next two days three days you're missing out on opportunities because the stocks go down they go up go down go up go down go up what do you think that is that's shorting then buying the position shorting then buying the position and actually at the same time of shorting they're actually exiting profiting when they get up here and then they short it profit on the way down and then buy the position profit on the way up and then you know it's just up and down up and down i stated also in my last videos that this is the setup okay 
for the next bull run okay pullbacks are the setups right for the next bull run every single time there's a pullback it is setting up for the next bull run and there you got it this is where investing begins not where it ends this is not where investing begins this is when profit taking begins according to what is shown in the stocks and what is going on in the charts and what one's goal is because if this is what you were looking for right here this was the trade buying an average cost on the way down through the dips right and then riding it up and as soon as it's pulling back a little bit that could be a 10 20 percent move 30 percent move 40 percent 50 percent plus move on an individual stock from down here to up here and then you wait until the next opportunity arises right now the stock market is under a little bit of pressure and a little bit of fears that are coming back to the whole reason why we started falling right here a lot of people would say it's the variant i stated in my community it was reminding me of the headlines of what happened with delta eventually we would go back up and if not vaccines were not efficient we would have to reanalyze and if they were it was going to be good news but the behind the scenes pulling this all the way down here it wasn't just the variant it had a little bit to do with the puzzle but it's the fed meeting coming up being priced in the fears of tapering and more aggressiveness and also the comments made by jerome powell at the beginning of the month it literally destroyed the charts but it created an opportunity so let's talk about what is forming right now so right now the whole entire market is pricing in negative cpi data and negative cpi data can create more aggressiveness from the fed creating a whole entire outbreak of a taper tantrum what happened back in 2013 2018 and it creates corrections and crashes i do want you guys to be aware of that now on the 30 minute it is too soon to know it's just beginning it just got a bear indicator after all this strength and it's just shifting into red it's not enough time to go ahead and say you know what we're about to go into a correction but it is important to be aware of what's going on because as we go into larger time frames it's just looking like a little blip right now but if this gets more significant and a bear indicator just like this one pops up here and this green shifts back into red and negates this bull indicator this could start pulling downwards pretty significantly and pretty fast okay but we're still seeing some strength here okay even though it's pulling back a little bit we're still seeing strength on 42 vision 2.0 for now and also on this bull indicator that we have since way back here so when we put the one day though this is where it becomes very significant it just got a bull indicator it's just beginning but on 42 vision 2.0 it is on the verge of trying to reverse we need to see if it can continue or if this is going to level off and fall even further and get that momentum loss right the momentum that it's forming lose it and start pulling back pretty fast and a bear indicator popping up negating this bull indicator right now we're in the middle of it all and the main reason why there's so much volatility and uncertainty is because of the fact of the caution that is set ahead of inflation report okay a lot of people are expecting it's not going to come up as favorable to the markets as they want it and more of like what jerome powell signaled last month that the fed would consider stepping up the pace on bond purchasing tapering to curb inflation pressures okay so if cpi data comes showing pressures that it's going to be higher than expected and more importantly it's going to be longer than expected it is going to create a reason for the fed to be and act more aggressive on the tapering creating uncertainty doubt and fear in the markets because it's going to get priced in and people see less value in the long-term growth of some of growth companies and just companies overall especially if they are not profitable okay so basically what they're saying is the data comes ahead of the key inflation rating on friday when the consumer price index for november is released a strong reading could increase expectations that the federal reserve will become more aggressive in tapering 
its bond purchases and begin to hike interest rates. And a lot of people are fearing that it's going to hike interest rates even quicker than we anticipated. All right. They were probably planning by June of next year or May. And now they're trying to bring it back or closer to March of next year. Okay. Making a very small window in a very aggressive tapering strategy. Okay. Faster than we've ever seen before. So right now everything is just in the limbo. Now, what was this rally? Well, it could turn out to be the biggest bull trap you will see in December or the beginning of a rally towards the end of the year. And whatever we go through here, as long as we don't test back down here at these lows of 4,500, I think there might be some strength to do the next leg up to have an end of the year rally. And what it could turn into is a big correction that scared people looking like a crash before setting up for the next bull run. Now we don't have that confirmation yet. We need to watch this carefully, but it is creating fear in the markets. I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. How you feel about this? Do you think CPI data is going to make the Federal Reserve more aggressive on their tapering or is it going to slow down or stay the same? And if you want to receive clarity in the charts like no other, check out 42 Vision Indicator link down below in the description. And by joining the 42 Vision Indicator tier level, you'll gain access to the daily watch list home runs that we look for every single day and strive for weekly watch list community of investors all looking to learn and grow together, as well as the premium indicators to receive the clarity you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on every single opportunity, no matter what's going on in the charts. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.